Jane Goodall, welcome to our show, and thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Um, first of all, were you surprised by the outbreak of the coronavirus? No, not really, because it's been predicted for many, many, many years, and we paid no attention to the lessons we should have learned from SARS and MERS and HIV and all the others. We just didn't listen and, I suppose, put our heads in the sand and said, well, carry on, business as usual, never mind. What should have been the lessons that we should have learned from those earlier outbreaks? Well, all of them, the ones I'm talking about, are the so-called zoonotic diseases. That's diseases that have crossed the species barrier from animals to humans. And so that's happened because we've been destroying the habitats. Animals have come closer and closer to each other. Viruses have jumped from one species to another. And then they've been pushed into closer contact with people. And then also we've been hunting them, killing them, eating them, trafficking them, uh, putting them in contact with all kinds of different species from all over the world in some of these meat wildlife markets, meat markets. And you were talking about the wet markets, and, and we all know that this started in Wuhan, in China. Now, wet markets are, are a common thing in, uh, in Asia. You have them in Bangkok, uh, in, in Hong Kong. Is there still a serious threat that this could start all over again with a new virus because these wet markets and these animals cropped up in close quarters are still there being sold? Well, the thing is that most wet markets don't sell wild animals. That's just a few. Most of them are similar to the farmers markets in Europe and America. And it's where most people go to buy fresh food at a reasonable price. And you can't just close down wet markets. But what has, is happening is closing down the wildlife markets. And also, we should apply this to the intensive factory farms as well. Not just wild animals, but the way we treat pigs and cattle and chickens, because some diseases have started from those horrible operations as well.